many physics objects can the Quest 2 handle? Today, I'm going to be pushing the Quest 2 as far as it can go to see just how many rigid bodies we can put onto a scene before our quests explode. You're probably familiar with the video Brackies did five years ago, looking at how Unity handled a large amount of rigid bodies in one scene, and I wanted to extend this experiment to the Quest 2. So the first thing I needed to do was create a scene that I could build out onto my Quest 2 that would let me test the bounds of the headset. Unity does come with a few options for physics systems, notably being physics and dots. But for this video, we're focusing solely on Unity's built-in physics system. So, I created a new Unity project, set it up for VR using my favourite interaction framework, made a cube prefab, and wrote a quick script that would spawn a line of cubes every time I pressed this button. And, just so I could have complete control, I linked how many cubes would spawn in each row to this slider. Add an account for the cubes, a reset button that would reload the scene, and a secret button that has a surprise if the quest can cope, and we are ready to go. The interaction framework that I'm using comes with this handy FPS counter that we can use in-game to see if our build starts to dip below the 72 FPS required for MetaQuest titles. To get a baseline, I started with an easy 50 objects, which, unsurprisingly, the quest handled fine. Let's up the ante straight away and add an extra zero. 500 objects still seem to be no problem for the quest, holding at a buttery smooth 72 frames per second throughout, even when sent flying by this exploding barrel. The next increment, we more than doubled our amount of cubes, now having 1,050 in our scene. And this was where I noticed my first frame drop. It was subtle and quickly jumped back up to 72 frames per second, but this was the first sign that we might be getting closer to a limit. Obviously, I couldn't stop there though. We want to see what it will take to make the quest spontaneously combust, so I had to push further, for science. So I cranked the slider up to spawn 100 cubes per line, and push I did. To make sure I was definitely going to get the most explosive result, I placed these extra barrels in front of the wall too. At this point, every line I added saw a significant frame drop before levelling out once the cubes had settled down. So with only 50 more rigid bodies than the last attempt, I set off the explosion with a total of 1,100 objects. And even though at some points the frame rate dipped to as low as 15 FPS, it was still running relatively well. At this point, I got what I can only describe as button happy and push the sim to 1500 objects, but it still wasn't enough. It was time. I hit the secret button and spawned in a tower of just under a thousand objects on top of the 1500 already in the scene. At the peak of the simulation, the frame rate hit single digits. Now, the cube count probably isn't too reliable at this point because of all the objects that flow so far out of the playing area that they've just been called, but I think it's safe to say we've hit our limit. So knowing this, I wanted to incrementally add cubes to find out exactly where the sweet spot is before the quest starts to struggle. And it seemed 1,200 objects was where the quest drew the line, but 1,000 objects was where the drops began. There you have it. If you're developing for the Quest 2, stick below a thousand rigid bodies and you should be good. Now, obviously, there are other things that affect your frame rate and performance, so if you're actually developing a game for Quest, you do need to take into account that this test was done in the most bare bones scene possible, and as your scenes become more complex, the number of rigid bodies your game can cope with will go down. We can of course improve this number by adjusting our physics settings and altering our time steps, so on and so forth, but this should give you a good idea of where those limits stand to start with. With that, I shall leave you with a montage of me having the time of my life blowing up red cubes. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want more Quest 2 experiments, or to follow the development of my Quest 2 game, please consider liking and subscribing. Personally, I was really impressed with how well the quest coped with so many rigid bodies, and there's something incredibly satisfying about playing with this many physics objects in VR. I'll see you next time.